Hey guys, it's Natalie. What's up and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my February TBR. I know that I'm wearing the same thing that I was wearing in my last video and that's because I'm killing two birds with one stone. I'm filming multiple videos today. So let's not talk about it, okay? I don't wear the same shirt every day. I'm not a freaking gross goblin. So let's get into it. As it is Black History Month, I'm going to be focusing on reading primarily black authors, so let's get into those books. I'm going to start first with the book that I'm currently reading, and that is Beast Made of Night by Toji Onyebuchi. This is a YA fantasy, and this one follows our main character Taj, who lives in the land of Kos, which is a very divisive kingdom. Our main character Taj is a member of the Aki, or a sin eater, and his job is to eat the sins of the royal family so that they will be absolved of their sins, and those sins present themselves as beasts, and Taj's job is to kill the beast, eat the sin, and then he takes away the sin from the royal family, and he also becomes garnished with a tattoo of that beast, which is a marker for the sins that he has eaten. This book is a really interesting concept and I'm enjoying it so far. I was kind of nervous to start this one because this is probably one of the lowest rated books on Goodreads that I own physically and so I was kind of scared to read it but I don't hate it so far so I'm curious to see where this will go. So if I end up finishing Beast Made of Night then I would like to move on to the sequel which is A Crown of Thunder. So I've gotten almost halfway into Beast Made of Night, so I feel like I can definitely squeeze in Crown of Thunder. So yeah, I would like to read these two. Up next on my TVR is Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. This is a YA, I wouldn't call this a contemporary, but this is a book that is written either in, I believe, verse or prose. I can never remember the difference between the two. This one is a book that follows our main character whose brother was killed and shot in a wrong time, wrong place scenario, I believe. And this book is basically about him being in a mental elevator and on each floor there is different things about his brother's life or about him and his life or something like that. That's all I really know about this book. Um, I didn't want to know a lot about it going into it, especially because it is such a short book. But yeah, this one I heard is really impactful. As you can see, it has won a lot of awards and I'm really, really excited to read this one. So the next book on my February TBR is Real Men Knit by Quana Jackson. This one is an adult rom-com that follows four brothers in Harlem who are attempting to try to keep open the family knitting shop after the original owner, which is their adoptive mother, passes away. So I've heard really good things about this book and I'm super excited to read it. I definitely need some rom-coms in my life right now because, you know, the pandemic is very stressful. I could use some happy, uplifting books and this book definitely seems like it's going to be one of those books. So I'm super excited to read this one. I absolutely love the cover. It is so cute and I can't wait to read it. So the next book I have is With a Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. This is a book that follows our main character Imani who becomes pregnant in high school and it definitely kind of thwarts her life's goal which is to become a chef and I think this just follows Imani as she's trying to make a name for herself, become a chef, still be able to fulfill her dreams. That's all I really know about this book. I didn't want to know a lot about it going into it especially because there's so much hype and I don't want to be too disappointed and I don't want to know too much about it if that makes any sense. But yeah, I recently picked this one up from a used bookstore and I'm super excited to read it. The cover is beautiful and so is the inside and man, I'm just so excited to read this one. So yeah. Up next is another book that I recently got and that is Eloquent Rage, A Black Feminist Discovers Her Superpower by Brittany Cooper. And I have been in the mood for nonfiction so much lately and I really want to read this one because I've been in the mood for nonfiction. And I really just love reading other feminist perspectives because I feel like I can't properly call myself a feminist until I learn about what feminism truly is and what it means to different people, especially people who are of color or of different 
lifestyles and backgrounds as me and I definitely want to learn more about feminism as a whole. So I have a lot of feminist books on my TBR and this book was one of them and I'm so happy I finally picked this one up. I'm super excited because Roxane Gay blurbed it and Roxane Gay is one of my favorite feminist authors. So I really can't wait to crack this one open. I feel like it's gonna be fantastic. Surprise, surprise, it's The Mark of Athena by Rick Riordan. This is the only book on my TBR that I am like 90% sure that I will not be able to finish because I'm only this far into it and I still have all this to read. And I've been working on this book since like June or July of 2020 and I still have not finished it. Um, but I'm gonna try because like I said, my motivation to read has come back. So who knows, maybe I will spontaneously finish this in a flurry of passion. I am not sure, hopefully I do because I'm sick of looking at it quite frankly. So yeah, those are the seven books that I'd like to complete in the month of February. And I feel like it's kind of a doable goal for me because like I said, motivation to read back in my system and I've been consecutively reading every day for the past couple weeks. So hopefully I will be able to read all of these books. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a like, subscribe down below, and hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss a single upload. And leave a comment, let me know some books that you want to read in February, and we'll talk about it in the comments down below. So yeah, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye!